Hi, my name is Juliet Ariola, and the title of the show is Powwows and Fairs. The term powwow originated from the Nartic, a language spoken by Algonquin peoples of Massachusetts. Modern powwows come from recent ceremonies that began in the Plains area when in the 19th century the government seized great swaths of land for the northern and southern Plains people. This was a time of great upheaval and mass migration resulting in intertribal exchange and solidarity. In the Southwest, many tribes have incorporated powwows into their annual tribal fair. This consists of a combination of the Carnival Midway entertainment, dancing along with rodeo and harvest festival. Nearly all Southwestern tribes welcome outsiders. The power of dancers and prayers increase with the numbers of people attending. The ledger drawings were not only historically inspired, but portray my love of steampunk. I love the design, fashion, and technology that came from the 19th century, but it was especially a horrible time for Native Americans. The drawings suggest how objects, concepts, were not only forced on Native Americans, but in some cases were also embraced. Myths and stories from different tribes are included because all tribes were impacted by the overwhelming force of manifest destiny. This is Topper. The midway at the powwow is spectacular. The mudheads are having a blast until they turn around and realize the ride that they are on is unsettlingly familiar. Jollification. These Kasari opted for riding the kid's roller coaster. That said, it's still a little dicey. Hold on. Trusting a trickster. Coyote convinced Badger to get on the ride. He told Badger he would have fun. Coyote also told Mudhead to stand under the ride and wait. Everybody seems to do what Coyote says. Twirling maidens. Corn maidens being whirled about on a ride we used to call baskets. You'd never know they were laughing as they are wearing precautionary masks. Taking a break. Bear, who is head singer, takes a break from the drum. So many, many wonderful things to eat at the powwow. The Zen of Fry Bread. Another break for the head singer, who is struck by how fry bread can be a transforming experience. Midway Magic. Mudhead has won a stuffed bear at a game on the Midway. To celebrate, Mudhead enjoys cotton candy. What a great day. Seriously two-stepping. In a category all their own, Coyote and Kosari get exceptionally fancy with the two-step. Cubby with Carousel Stick Pony. A badger cub plays on his stick pony, looking forward to riding the carousel at the midway. He loves to see the lines his stick pony leaves behind. The ring. Leaning in toward the prize, Madame Crow concentrates on grasping the ring. Head singer. The head singer has sung the lead line and others have joined the singing. Room for one more. Take a seat. Powwow prep. After two years of powwow cancellations due to the plague, Crow is looking forward to seeing old friends and making new ones. The magnificent Madame Crow, fancy shawl. Madame Crow is in the center of the dance arena. Her fancy shawl takes her to great heights, so much so she levitates. In the cups, the teacups are a disorienting ride, and this teacup is definitely stirring something up. Line stop. Coyote and his friends strut their stuff. Even they know they're good. Wall of mudheads and gutsy maiden. 
courageous maiden with an acute sense of the daring performs for mudheads who are in awe. Eureka! It's easy to lose your companions at the fair, but Madam Professor Crow has found a solution. Rogue carousel horses chasing an Indian. The game is on. <laughs>